Hi, so in this video you'll see basically everything you need to know about the VEX game manual for pushback. So starting off we have um, just the scoring rules right here. You have the autonomous bonus, the blocks, um, you have all these, so like you just have the general points. The total number of points you can score in a game is 206. So specifically with blocks they are considered scored if they are touching the goal and then if they're not touching a bot of the same color as it and if they're not touching the floor so you can look at the pictures here um and then you have the control zones so these are considered controlled if the majority of the blocks in uh the zone are of one color and if you look at this, they can't be, like, intersecting one of these white lines because they have to be completely in it. So, like, you look right here, there is a gap. So that would count as, like, in the control zone. But if it was slightly out, then it wouldn't count. For being parked, you have to be not contacting the floor outside of the parking zone. You have to not be contacting any field elements other than, like, the wall and the parking zone itself. Um... And then you have to be at least somewhere in the vertical projection. So you can see right here, um, this bot would be fine. These bots would be fine. If this bot was tipped over the edge a little bit, it would be fine. But if it's tipped over the edge and then touching one of these outside tiles, obviously it wouldn't be. And then, So the bot would be considered parked if it is completely in this area, not touching anything outside of it other than the wall. So either of these bots would be fine. And then it has to not be touching any other field elements outside of this area which does not include the blocks. So your bot could be resting on a block theoretically and then touching the inside of here and still be scored. Um, so that would count. So for the autonomous bonus, that's 10 points. Um, as I've said, if it's a tie, it's five points each. Um, and then parked robots do not count um, as a part of the scoring. And in fact, you don't wanna be touching the parking zones because you want none of the blocks touching the parking zone. Um, and then you also want uh, these other requirements. So seven blocks of your color scored and then three goals with your blocks color scored and then um, at least three of your blocks removed from the loaders. Okay, so one of the other main rules I noticed was that you cannot clamp your bot to any part of the field at all, which means you can't clamp the end of the goals to stop um, blocks from being uh, extracted, I guess. Um, so that's just something to notice. Another thing, specifically, you have to start the match contacting the parking zone. Um, and then you cannot touch any robots like the says or the goals or loaders. Another rule to notice is that you cannot reach inside the enclosed parts of the goals, which means you cannot reach in and extract them from the middle area. You have to push them. So there's like no pulling past um, the initial like five or six that are on the edges. Um, you have to push them. And then also during the end game, you have 20 seconds where you're protected in your park zone, which makes sense. Um, but people most likely rush over at the end. The next major rule that I've noticed is that just an unlimited of rope and string, no thicker than a quarter inch. So this seems like it might be a consistent thing um, where they're trying to have the string not too specific so that's just something i noticed and then another really big difference i actually noticed was that there is a limited amount of plastic allowed um but in a different way so instead of trying to arrange it into a specific size of sheet you have 12 pieces that you can have um and then they each have to be smaller than four by eight inches and the height is seven hundredths of an inch or about 1.8 millimeters so yeah, it's just different restrictions on the plastic you can use. The final main thing in the game manual to take note of is how the skills challenges will run. Um, so this is the general field setup. You can see it here. Um, you can see it here. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is just the general field setup. And you have a total of 119 points that you can score um, just from all of these. And then more specifically, all of the blocks count as scored for you. Um, and then each block only counts as one points, and then you have um, the controlled zones, which are each worth five points for the long goals, and then the center goals are worth ten points each, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then each cleared park zones, so you have to clear those six blocks out, 
and then you have uh, each cleared loader, which also is five points, and then a parked robot is 15. Um, so yeah, 119 is the number to go for, and I feel like that this game, it's actually possible to achieve that 119 points, um, but it really depends on how fast you can score within the time frame of a minute.